Now, in my humble opinion, the CAC should change its name ever so slightly to the crack, because they are high on something and they are always looking for their next fix of minority baiting. Their agenda is clearly anti-English and anti-immigrant. I wouldn't be surprised to see some CAC hats saying, make Quebec white and French again. And it seems little thought goes into their legislation. It's like over a beer, Facebook Francois Legault and his language and immigration and education ministers map out their next step to encourage les autres to flee Quebec. You must never forget that this is the same Francois Legault who once, as a pay kissed, told a West Island political meeting that he hated Anglos. Well, plus ça change. Now that he is in power, he is doing his level best to make us feel uneasy. Remember, he is a Francophone from the West Island from a certain era, when the English and French would actually fight in the streets. His memories are long and his anger runs deep. Now this week, the CAC announced that only Anglos who went to school here in English would have the right to be served in English by the government. There would be two categories of bloke, the historic Anglo or the newcomer Anglo. Now, I attended schools of the erstwhile PSBGM. That would give me historic credentials. How would it work? Well, secret passcodes, government-issued IDs, special codes on our Opus cards or driver's licenses. And as our numbers fall, we could become oddities, tourist attractions. Regardez les Anglo historic. Look, but don't feed. Fred should English live here, live here. So he always feels like that, so why change? It's a totally dumb and mean idea which would never pass constitutional muster. Historical? No. Hysterical? Yes. Now, these bunch of total amateurs first stole English schools without consultation, brought in legislation to destroy school boards, and then this week put our largest school board under trusteeship. We have a lot of irregularities, uh, some, um, some expenses that we can't uh, explain. Now, I'm not saying that the EMSB is perfect. It's been a bit of a snake pit for as long as I can remember, even while being the best performing public school board in the province. And yes, where there is smoke, there is fire. What I'm saying is that I don't believe in coincidence. And this trusteeship grab just happened to coincide with the board launching legal action against the constitutionality of Bill 21. Just connect the dots. Bonjour High is just the tip of the iceberg with these people. It will get worse. But what won't get better is something that really matters. You see, language, culture, immigration are just big smoke screens. Do you remember the CAC election promise about fixing the emergency rooms? Shorter wait times, better service. Legault proudly promised a maximum 90-minute wait to see a doctor. Do you remember the CAC election ad claiming prisoners get better health care than ordinary Quebecers? Well, this week the Journal de Montréal did some digging on the CAC's health care record. In the year of the CAC, wait times in ERs have actually increased by an hour and 22 minutes. And with the flu season coming, doctors are indeed worried. Here are the average wait times in some regions. These are health ministry numbers. In the Monte Régie, it's an 18 hour and 7 minute wait to see a doctor in ER. Montreal, the wait is 16 hours and 15 minutes. In Laval, 15 hours and 57 minutes. And to see a psychiatrist in Quebec, the average wait time is 44 hours. While Quebecers are dying for better health care, this government, which promised better, is consummated with identity and dog whistle politics. Le patient est malade, Monsieur Legault. Your government spends more time on trying to scare people away than trying to heal them. Forget about your dress code, your values test, your language purity, your push to rid Quebec of anything different, your search for imaginary problems. It's a disgrace in any language. I'm Barry Wilson. You can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. And if you like what you see, please share it. And don't forget to check out our weekly poll on Facebook. We want to know what you think. And please, on this November 11th, take time to remember, we owe them everything.